Hey you! Welcome to our Alpaca YouTube channel where we show you how to use our APIs in different ways. In this video, I will be showing you how to create a crypto trading bot with Alpaca and Python. My name is Mirangelo Martinez and I'm Content Marketing Specialist for Alpaca. Let's get started! Okay, so this is the article that we're going to be working on today in this video. And as always, I will attach the link in the description. Also, I'm going to be using Google Collab for this video. Okay, so I have here my Jupyter Notebook and let's scroll down and see, look out for any coding. So first of all, you need your Alpaca account. I really hope you have it by now. And let's install this Alpaca Trade API. There we go. Let's go to another one. And we're importing the rest and the time frame and the pandas that we're gonna use, okay? And then we're gonna input our keys. Let's do that. So I have my paper account right here, my API keys. You see here the endpoint is the same as this one, the URL. And we're gonna copy this and let's run it. Now let's go to the next part. So we did set up here the variables and we have them right here. Key ID equals key ID, secret key equals secret key, the base URL. And we're running the bars just to get the info and we're actually using Bitcoin for this purpose. You can use whatever. I can change it later and we can do Ethereum or Solana or anything. And I always add bars here in Jupyter so I can get the info. And you can see here that we have FTXU, ERSX and Coinbase. But you can, but you can set up right here which type of exchange you want, and you don't have to get all of them. So he's actually saying, okay, let's we're gonna do Coinbase, and we actually don't need print bars. We can just add bars, and we can get the info right here for Coinbase. There we go. So now that we pulled Bitcoin info with the Coinbase exchange, we're gonna create an order. So we're gonna submit an order for Bitcoin, and it's really easy. Submit order Bitcoin side by. And um, here it's basically just getting the, the position. I don't I can just go ahead and see it right here if it's easier. And then it's right here. So basically right here is get position that we're just going to skip. And then we're going to go into the fun part. So we're going to create an algorithm. And basically this is so we're going to do first a flip a coin and see if it says buy or sell. And then we're actually going to do um, math if it's better to buy or sell. Okay, so we're gonna create this that we're gonna reuse for later for the random one that we're gonna do for the flipping a coin. And we're just gonna run it and we're good. So I'm just gonna copy it here and I'm gonna go over the code. Okay, so we have the code here and I love this because it's basically we're flipping a coin if it says buy we buy if it's a sell we sell it's using the gods have spoken of the gods have chosen like it's just random that makes sense so we have our position here we have the symbol we set the variable for bitcoin that's what we're gonna use and it's saying okay god say buy random choice true or false and then what we hold if what position we have and what the gods say and if we buy so it's saying okay if our position is zero if we have zero bitcoin and the gods say true to buy we're gonna buy one and it's gonna print the gods have spoken and then it's gonna say uh symbol bitcoin side buy and we're gonna buy one and it's gonna submit the order and if we sell so if we have more than zero so if we have one and the gods say sell so false we're gonna sell our bitcoin and it's just saying the gods have spoken and then bitcoin sell one so if we have more than zero so basically one and it says buy nothing's gonna happen because we already have one and we're not doing more than zero or one that's it and if we have zero and if it says false so zero and sell nothing's gonna happen because we don't have anything even to sell and then it says okay let's wait for the gods to manifest again and it's just gonna do it every 10 seconds that's what we said you can do it 20 30 whatever you want so every 10 seconds is gonna say if it buys or sell so we're gonna run it and let's see what happens. So remember that we have one Bitcoin. I bought one earlier. Okay, give me one second. Let's see what's going on. Okay, so it didn't run because we don't have time. So I'm just gonna import time right here and let's run it and it's running. So you see, this is never gonna stop because it's gonna be running every 10 seconds. 
let's see what we have. So, okay, for example, here we had zero and we bought one. And then here we have one and it said buy. So nothing happened because we already have one. So it's just going to keep going and going. Okay, so I've let it run for like three minutes and you can see all the history here that's been going on. So we bought, we sold, we bought, nothing happened, nothing happened, we sold. So it's just going to keep going by a random choice. And that's it. So I'm just going to stop it and that's it. So now we're going to go to the other part. So basically, we're actually going to do it using the moving average, not just by flipping a coin with the gods. <laughs> We're doing a fast and a slow. So the fast is doing the average of the last 12 minutes and then the slow of the last 24 minutes. And I'm going to copy it and paste it and I'm going to go over the code. So I'm going to paste it here. Actually here it shows like, because I interrupted it, I paused it. So I wanted to stop, but you can go here and check the orders, follow the orders that the flip the coin did, the gods did. It's all but... It's just showing 10 rows, but there were a lot. Okay, so let's go over this. Okay, so we have the code here. We're importing math and time from our library, and we're using the symbol Bitcoin and the symbol moving average fast 12 minutes and then slow 24, and we're doing one Bitcoin per trade, so quantity of one. And then for get pause, what we're saying here is if you buy at second 24, it's going to keep running on second zero zero. So First, you run it second 24, and then it runs at zero, zero. So 24, 36 seconds later, it, and then it's going to be doing it every 60 seconds. Then we have defined get position. So here we're doing, if we have one Bitcoin, then check to sell. If not, don't buy another one. Okay, so then we have a get moving average. Basically, what we're getting is, and I have here, I pulled Bitcoin. We have the uh, moving average, the fast one in green, and the slow one in red. So I pulled here Bitcoin and I have here the green one for the fast and the slow one in red. And every time the, the green is above the red one, we're going to buy. And when it's below, we're going to sell. So it's basically buy, sell, buy, sell. When even if it's just lightly, then buy, sell. So basically that's, that's what it's doing. And then we have defined get signal. So that's what get signal is if it's below or above. So then we have the get bars function and we're just getting the info of the last minute and taking the average of that. And the last part is we're actually going to submit orders. So we're saying we have the position. If we should buy, we're going to get the signal if it's below or ab above right here. And then, okay, if what is our position if we have or if we don't and if we should buy if we have zero and it's true so if the green is above the red we're gonna buy one bitcoin and it's just gonna submit the order and then it's just gonna print for us if um what our symbol is if we bought and how much we have and it's just gonna be one or zero in this case and then if our position is bigger than zero so if we do have one and it's false so if the green is below the red, we're going to sell our Bitcoin. And this is going to keep happening every minute. So we're at zero, zero. And so we have time sleep, get pause. Like I explained before, it's always at zero, zero. And we're just going to run it. And let's see. Okay, so you can see here that the fast is bigger than the slow. And we had zero. Um, so it was true. So we bought one. And it was going to sleep for 49 seconds. And you can see right here that it just ran again. Um, it's going to sleep for 60 seconds or 59 seconds. And you can see here that it's still fast is bigger than slow, but we already have one. So it's not going to buy anything. And it's going to keep running. So I'm going to let it run for a little bit and let's see what happens. Okay, so I'm back. It's been an hour and 42 minutes. So we bought one and then you could see here that it just kept saying position one, true. So it just didn't buy at all until okay until here so it says fast is bigger than slow which is false so it's sold and then until here fast is bigger than slow and that's true so position was zero so we we bought one and then until here okay we sold then fast is bigger than slow okay so you get the idea 
and it just kept going every oh there we go okay every minute and that's what it does so you can go so it's basically doing what i told you and you can here see in paper orders close this is what we've done you can see here the time we bought 38 sold at 56 bought at 10 so you get the idea that's what it does it's a moving average and yeah you can set it up for any type of crypto or stock or anything so i hope you liked it like the video and comment below what you want to see next